Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again with the cursed estate and we are ready after some crushing, crushing stuff that happened in the last episode. We managed to vanquish the butcher, but unfortunately we lost little one and it was, it was honestly absolutely tragic. It's probably the worst death of the series so far. But anyways, uh, we're going to jump into a Sunward Isles quest and I believe this is a boss. It says activated the corrupted epicenter, but it comes with a trophy, so I'm going to assume it's a boss. I think I know which boss this is because I used to watch Christopher Odd play this, and I vaguely remember something that looks like this foot, but we'll see. Also, I'm mainly doing this because we're getting a cataphract-only trinket, which seems really intriguing. Onslaught, move self back three. Um, and if we take a look at his skills, wherever uh, Navar is... Where's Navar? Navar, where are you? I've lost Navar. There he is. So Onslaught actually moves you forward three, but the trinket makes you move back three. So I'm assuming what that does is it just makes you stay in place. You don't move at all. Um, it removes 30% damage, which basically just removes that damage bonus that Onslaught gains, which is fair enough. Uh, and it also gives us plus speed in that position, which sounds really interesting. And it basically allows us to use him with these skills as a ranged attacker, which I really like the idea of. I never saw him as a ranged character, but I really, really like the idea behind it. And so I want to give it a go. Um, we do also have another trinket um, for that character, which is this one. Onslaught um, and Wheeling Disengage gain damage. So we could pair that with that to gain the Onslaught damage. It's kind of nice. It's an interesting idea. But yeah, this is what we're going to go for. But before we do that, we have quite a bit to get into here. Um, we first of all have a backstory for our keeper, Lilith, who is a character that uh, Lamika, who wrote the backstory, has been waiting on for quite some time. So I do apologize, but there you go. We're, she's here now. We're going to give her a go. Um, I quite like her in this. Okay, uh, we're going to go into this backstory. And then just before we start off the episode properly, we're going to get into the, um, the remarks of Little One, the diary entry for the death of Little One as well, because that is something we need to do. But first of all, Let's get into the backstory here for Lilith, our keeper. Lilith couldn't stop looking at her hands as she fiddled with her fingers as if her life depended on it. She was aware of her doing this, where whenever fear took place in her heart, but now it was more prominent than ever before. She couldn't stop thinking about the deal she struck and if it would be worth it in the end. It's not as if she had much of a choice on the matter, anyways. Her health was fading at an alarming pace, and even if the people and doctors tried to comfort her, saying it wasn't anything out of the ordinary, compared to other times she'd gotten bedridden, she felt, no, she knew this time was different. Their conversations with her fiancé, barely a whisper, were more than enough to confirm her suspicions on the matter. If not for that, why would her soon-to-be husband um, trying to hold his tears whenever she or anyone else mentions their wedding and their lifelong plans uh, be formulated together in their youth? Most of the details of the actual deal fell almost ripped out from her memories, a mental void left by whatever um, it was that she made a pact with. But it, was no, it no longer mattered, for her health was now better than ever before. She didn't even notice how any lacerations and marks of, extang of extanguination that used to cover her body were now gone, in an instant. In fact, her love never truly ceased watching her from head to toe, time and time again, just to be sure this was neither a dream nor his mind pulling tricks on him. In front of this miracle, and despite the doctor's recommendations on the matter, the wedding was not rescheduled, and in the altar in front of all those who she ever showed any love for, was that it happened. The last memory she had recollection of was her fiancé's con uh, concerned gaze, just before a pain beyond human comp comprehension completely overwhelmed her senses. After the deed was done, there was no noise beyond her hands desperately throwing around the gore-stained rubble, no uproar be uh, beyond her outrage, no signs of life other than her cries and unending begging and wailing, complete and utter irrational, ultimately maddening silence. Then, after the eternity was over, came another voice, a gasp of horror from the abot. Only saved from the slaughter due to his already known habit of arriving late at important ceremonies, being the only sound coming out of his lips, or at least the only bloody bride 
At the only the Bloody Bride got to hear before breaking down in tears again. A barrage of curses against her name erupted from the man, and she allowed each and every single one of them to ravage her uh, already trembling body for almost another eternity. After this, she asked her sob she asked her sobbing if um, he knew of anyone, anything that could repent her for uh, for the suffering she had unleashed upon those who she loved. We sent an expert to a remote town a few weeks from here. Maybe he will know what to do to rid you of the world of blight, which world of your blight, which again only the f um, first part of the lid. Sorry. Again, only the first part the lady, as quick uh, as quickly as a spouse, a widower she became, got to hear before she stood up and fled from the scene, her hands still hiding her gauze, and tears falling from her face, and she did so. She refused any and all assistance other people offered her. She felt that allowing um, the dirt, stone and ground to ravage her feet was but another means for her rep uh, repentance. Matter not how long it took her, the now keeper um, of but a fraction of the horrors hidden underneath the earth would arrive at the estate, would come face to face with the man she was told about, and she would, until the end of her days, beg and pray for absolution. Wow. That is just one of the most masterful backstories we've had. Holy hell, I'm so excited to use this class. Um, and by the way, she was referring to Lucio in her backstory there, so the... Um, the the priest that we have here where's lucio there's lucio so she was trying to lucio so she's come to see lucio really intrigued by all of that i think that's very very interesting let's uh, get our provisions ready um we'll just take as much food as we can carry i think and we'll go with four of everything i think four of everything i said um uh, we'll take some laudanum and we'll take 16 shovels. I'm also going to take some minor Ominoris because I know that the um, the enemies we'll be fighting against are Yokai, so we could get some general protection from that, which could be quite nice. But I think this is going to be a good group to go ahead. Uh, I haven't checked checked for a Prevent Nighttime Ambush, actually. That's probably something I ought to do. Always forget to do that. Um, Damn, do we not have a Prevent Nighttime Ambush? We don't, but I'm just going to risk it. It's fine. It's it's scary, but it's fine. Uh, anyways, let's embark, jump in, and get into another uh, diary entry here that is coming for our, um, our vessel, which is saddening, but there we go. Mere vessel, no more. The edge of victory makes defeat all the more bitter. The priest's words run through the little one's mind as he watches the false butcher fall to her knees. The words were from a story in the Book of Light about a naive young hero who had celebrated a victory, only for his opponent to stab him in the back after feigning his death. As his own comrades began to celebrate their victory, little one knew better. He watched as the false butcher re reached for her mace. He watched as she began to charge. He watched as she wound up and swung at Eileen. And finally, he used the last of his strength to put himself between the butcher, uh, the butcher's slashing the faker's stomach for the killing blow as her mace cracked against his head, sending him flying towards the wall of the pit. As the light faded from his eyes and the false butcher began to succumb to her injuries before him, a final thought rang through his mind. Mortals are not worthless. Mortals are friends. We do have a part two here as well that I'm going to get straight into. Father Eric had spoken at many funerals in his 40 years as a man of the cloth, and every time he'd been able to swallow his grief for the departed and read the passages from the holy book wishing the deceased a safe trip into the light. But this time was different. The father could not hold back his feelings. He would choke on every other word, lose his place in the prayer, and constantly need to wipe his eyes with cloth as he wished um, his poor little one's soul a pleasant journey to the afterlife in front of a small crowd that he had gathered in the graveyard. When the prayers were finished and the eulogies given, the priest stayed there alone, finally letting his tears fall th uh, free to the freshly dug, child-sized grave at his feet. O oh light, I understand the faithful must be tested, but to grant me happiness only to rip it away feels more, like, uh, more than mere cruelty. As the father began his walk back home, he opted to take a detour to the inn. It had been decades since his last drop of ale, but tonight of all nights, he was feeling rather parched. Oh, I'm so... 
Oh, genuinely. After that last episode, I, like, went and walked to my window and just, like, just stood there looking out my window for a solid, like, ten minutes. I just couldn't. I was so upset. <laughs> and that really drives it home. The child size grave line. Oh. That, that hits. Now, this is one of these missions uh, that's kind of interesting, where it doesn't actually tell us where we're going. So I'm kind of surprised to see that. By the way, I've gone for a rather intriguing setup here with a lot of our heroes. So we've gone classic, just all out damage for Koshkin, which is good. But with, um, with Rose, we've gone for extra armor piercing versus marks as well as just extra armor piercing. So basically anything armored she's going to be uh, firing at. We've brought along Gorzum with the healing, mainly because she has the ability to mark, which works well with our Arbalist for us. And then we've also got Koshkin that can mark. So really some good stuff there. Um, and then as well, very interesting, our Wale here, we haven't brought him out in some time. Going with the big boost of damage from the Ancestor's Head with 6% crit, 20% damage, dodge and speed. But also done something interesting. I've taken the Hammer and Tongs, which is going to lower our damage and speed, but give us another 8% crit and give us damage on critting, as well as buff on friendly skill, which essentially means if we use revenge or sol um, solemnity, we manage to gain some prot, which is really nice. But the support act is giving us an extra 7% um, on our crit for a solid 25%. I think this is going to be really interesting. Lots of crits coming out and buffing our damage for every crit we gain. I really just feel that's going to be quite good. Um, so here I've got like a decision to make. Do I want to... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the mark on you just because you've got um, quite a lot of dodge and I'd rather remove some of that. Um, and then I can go with this on you to do some solid damage. And there's a crit already. So our damage has already been buffed by 25% as well as our accuracy buff from the crit. Um, we're going to cookery mode straight away. The light, the promise of safety. Luckily, that's a dodge there. Fresh water's going to be a heal, but it's not a massive heal. It doesn't it include some prot, though. I didn't notice that. We're probably going to take on some stress and stuff here, but that's not terrible. Can't remember what you, what you do. Not anything too bad, to be honest. I mean, Nevin Contact comes in again for a little bit more stress there. It's not a lot, but it does pile up. Koshkin's really taking a beating here. Um, unfortunately, these guys got a thousand turns in a row. She's always annoying. We'll get rid of that. Um, we'll get rid of the Blight as well. Take care of you. Oh, come on now. So close. And that's not even a kill. Wow, I was expecting that to be a kill. That's okay. And there's another crit for another 25% damage. <laughs> You see how this could scale out of control pretty quickly? Um, we'll put that on you. And we'll heal you up. Putting you in a good spot for restoration and so forth. We do have the heal from Rose as well if we need it. That's nice to have. Retreat coming in for a bit of um, thingy there. We'll just go for the kill there, shall we? Give them no quarter. Good thing is here we can hew to uh, get the damage off there. Very very nice. As and how many how many positive quirks can you have? Okay, let's 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 take this, shall we? Because that's going to give us bonuses to our accuracy and speed, which is quite nice. Uh, accuracy is always nice with this guy because um, we gain accuracy from. There we go. Get some scaring there. We gain accuracy from our thingy, of course, our crits. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, I think this should be a reasonably a reasonably powerful group. My only concern is our healing isn't great with um with gauze on here, but that's why I brought Rose, because then we've got some off healing to make things work if things aren't quite going our way. And we've got another surprise here, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, I'm going to pull you forward now. Uh, I'm going to go for a kill on you. That's an unfortunate dodge. And there you go. Take you out straight away. That's the enemy we want gone. Some restoration on you. 
and start our cooking. Good, good. Exposure coming in as per usual. Disease gluttony. Now, this can be problematic because it can spread a lot of disease quickly. So, we need to just hope that that doesn't give us too many diseases on the way there. Because we don't have many ways of getting rid of them right now. So, these guys are on 20, 29 HP. So, we want to go for the one-hit kill. Unfortunately, it's not always going to be likely. Horror once again. Let's go for a kill there. Lovely. Filthy Hide, I think that's going to increase his disease ability. 6% chance on us hitting them that we gain a disease. So yeah, not not ideal. Um, let's go with that. It's going to be a mark. Whale of Torment. Horrors coming in. That's a crit there. Beautiful. No disease as well, which is nice. And we can use finish to hit you and finish you. Very nice. Got cut out already. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and Lovely. I have you eat everything here. Now I don't know if I'm meant to be going a specific way here or not. It's just kind of not really clear. Maybe I didn't bring enough torches for this, I don't know. I have no idea what this tree is. An elderly woman is embedded into the tree. Perhaps she has some information. I'm going to speak to you as her. Okay, that just lowered our light by quite a bit. That's not terribly bad. It wastes two torches. Okay, there's a lot of battles and corridors right now, which isn't particularly ideal. Our stress has gotten up quite a bit on Koshkin as well, which I'm not particularly happy about. Um... Pull you forward just to mark you. Putting a mark on you is useful. Uh, we'll go with this. The lowered accuracy and crit. And then there's the crit already. Like I said, the crits are going to be coming in so fast with this guy. We're going to be able to do a lot. No one needs uh, any healing right now. So I guess I could um, go with this. A little lick coming out there. Skewered tusks. Ooh, that is a big crit. That bleed isn't particularly nice, and the stress isn't nice either. Filthy hide once again. Problematic for us, but we can get through it. Um, just go for the kill on that guy, and we got it. Awesome. We'll get rid of that bleed when we can as well. Another filthy hide coming our way. We're going to end up taking a disease at some point around here, aren't we? It just seems inevitable. Unfortunately, low rolled on both of those guys. Go for a finish him there for some good damage. Then I think we go like that. And like that. Inspiration and improvement. Why do you keep going for him? Seven damage. I didn't realize I could do that much damage. Damn. Get out of here, you. Good to have that shovel back just in case. Push on to the tasks. Go with that for that trap to Sam stress relief, which is nice. Ooh, what's this? Uh, a form of man-powered carriage used by the wealthy here. Occupants must have been attacked. Look inside, shall we? Lovely. Don't need to sit train. We're okay for that. Thank you. Again, I don't really know where I'm going here. So this is all going to be very much random. The tree kind of screwed us over last time. And I'm, I'm sure it has some positive effects as well. But I can't really afford to lose more light. We've already gone down to uh, 10 torches. Another tree. There's a lot of these trees. A lot of these trees. We're getting a lot of surprises as well, which is rather nice. Dude, all I want is that crit early on. That's why I'm going for the um, the hue, because it's more targets. More chances for those crits. Unlikely to do much here, so let's go for a, a mark instead. Also, that dodge removal is probably useful. The blood quickens. Heal you up. And then start our cooking. Good thing is we get a little bit of light out of cooking as well. It's only a small bit. I think it's only like 10. 
but it's something. Dude, they will not leave Koshkin alone. <laughs> Swipe doesn't hurt too much. The Blight is not ideal, but this is why we have this um, restoration. These things are doing so much more damage than normal. Like, actually, what the hell in terms of the damage they're outputting right now? G leave him alone, please. Oh my god, I realize that obviously this is how they work. If it's um, something that deals stress, they're going to deal even more. Beautiful. Does that two crits give me? Ah, oh, it doesn't give me two lots. That'd be insane. One of them was on a body, so it just might not count in general. Um, good, good. We're keeping everyone's health nice and topped up, so I'm not really bothered about that. We're just a little annoyed at these guys being kind of pricks. Leave him alone, please. Good kills on them there. E and a crit by Rose as well. It's nice to see. It's nice to see. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. Empty room in here. That's that's kind of a relief to see, to be honest. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. It's an empty old room. Dude, the surprises we're getting. How are we surprising stuff so often? Ah, oh, that is like the lowest of lowest rolls. And you got a low roll as well. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, not what I wanted to see. Double low rolls there. Heal you up real quick. Buff your maximum HP as well, which is quite nice. They're both going to go for him again, aren't they? Delicious cucumber. A little bit of restoration across the board. Not particularly bad. Watch it. Yeah, I gotta say, they can't not go for our boy. It's in, it's literally impossible. We're gonna go for him again. Yep. Oh, other one. Do you wanna do you wanna get involved? Do you wanna do you wanna go for him as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa! What a surprise. So we might have a stress check here as uh, Koshkin, which means we might need to camp sooner than I thought. Vicious assault isn't too bad. We resisted the bleed as well, which is good. Again, we go for the hue. We're looking for those crits, 25% damage. Need to take out these little goddamn umbrellas quickly. I'm not that bothered about um, Rockerin taking damage, to be honest. Uh, Rockerin, sorry, Awali. Very nice. He resisted overfeeding, which is good. There's that kill. This guy's going to go underground. Oh no. We got lucky. Beautiful. This expedition at least promises success. Um. But da, 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 da. Don't know what to get rid of here. There's not really many things I want to get rid of, I'll be honest. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, this is tricky. I don't I don't want to know who to give this to. I guess I'll just give it to you. Ooh, a blessing of wisdom can provide utility in battle. I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to guess we're going this way. This is not what I expected to come across here. This is definitely surprising. So we could use a minor Onomori on that to get some stuff, but I'm, I'm more wanting to keep those for when we have to fight the boss. So I don't know if we will need them, but we might. And the only target that exists. Very nice dodge there. We'll try and take out this thing. Oh, wait, no. It didn't do, um, it didn't do the rhythm. We're fine. Ah, he's got a lot of prop, though, is the only thing. Ooh, okay, so that's that's the thing that just happened there. That's that, the wisdom thing. It was very nice. Cooking up. 
fishing for those crits, baby. Remember that we're only getting 5% damage after one crit. It's only after a second crit that we really see the damage start spiraling. But my thinking is, on a boss fight, it can spiral out of control quite quickly. Because they've got a lot more HP. Fights last for longer. Nice. I'm, I'm getting the low rolls on my attacks quite a lot, unfortunately. See, now we're at 50% damage. Now we're gaining quite a bit of extra damage. Good heal there, lovely. A kick. I've not seen that attack before, I don't think. Yeah, like, if we look at this... Nah. Uh, how do I check the, the, the damage this can do? Oh, there you go. We do 10 to 21. So when we're getting like 11 damage with it, it's just such a low roll. Success so clearly and um, I'm going to get rid of these for now. And take the money. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, like I said, really don't know where I'm going here, so a little bit worried. Disarmed, whatever that is. Some stress relief is nice. Ah, bugger. Oh! No- uh, I was gonna say we got stress relief from that. No, we didn't. No, we bloody well didn't. Ooh, we got one of these trees. I'm probably gonna ignore the tree. I'm pretty sure I can interact with it to fight it. I'm probably gonna ignore it. We're gonna have to go for big chops here, but even that, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty low roll, really. Actually, no, 18's not so bad. I get that mark on you. That's what we want to see, baby. That's a bit of a big hit there, but we can deal with it. We can deal with it, baby. Undead Behemoth. That's going to be a guard and a restoration and blocks. Ooh, that is pretty gross. Yes, he's going to block a few hits here. That's fine. We're going to get those off so that our while I can do his business. That's fine. Ah, 11. Oh, 11's like... What? 11's below the lowest damage I can deal. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. What exactly happened there? I like that basically I only ever heal Koshkin. No one else gets healing. No one needs it. Koshkin is the only one that ever needs healing. Might have a demon. That's a bit of bleed there. We can we can get rid of that bleed. 18's better. Good, good. Still no crit though, sadly. There's a crit, baby. Okay, we're just going for heals here, I guess. Good, good. We're cooking up. And there's 30 damage in one hit. Only 3 HP left. I say, of course he's going to get another hit in, isn't he? That doesn't do any damage. God damn it. Actually, I could do this technically. That'll blight him. There's a crit. <laughs> A little bit later, but yeah, th this tree here, we can activate this to um, to fight a boss, but honestly, there ain't no way I'm doing that. Dude, how far away? Okay, quest location's over here, I see. Okay, so we're not that far out, actually. The question is now, do I want to camp? Ah, bugger. 33 stress. All sick. Right, yeah, do I want to camp? Because let's let's see, what, what can we gain from camping? We can gain... Basically nothing on him, because I've not got the right skills on. Basically nothing on you apart from some crit. Basically nothing on you. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to camp. <laughs> Honestly, all of my camping abilities look kind of trash. So, I don't think there's any need. What the hell is this?
This scares me. <laughs> uh -uh. An eternal... A a ethereal, sorry, phoenix lies before you. Come forth to receive its blessing. So a phoenix is, like, typically, obviously, reborn. So I'm thinking one of two things here. Either it gives me some sort of extra life to my character and it's something really good, or it's going to kill them. And I don't really want to risk it, but at the same time, what kind of person would I be if I didn't? Okay. That was... That was much, much better, but slightly less... Slightly more anticlimactic than I expected. <laughs> Just a lot of stress relief. I really, really expected... Really, really expected that that was going to end up being... Uh, oh, armor piercing super useful for us here. Really, really expected that was going to be some some sort of big thing with a quirk or something. Right. Last enemy. Try and get rid of the retaliate and rhythm boy, but probably won't be able to. That dodge is very nice. Ah, you bastard. I knew it was going to happen. Try and take him out before he does it again. Unfortunately, the prot is heavy with this one. Aha! You've done delicious cucumber, but it doesn't matter because most people are full HP. So more fool you. That debuff, I'm hoping that comes in very much so while we're um, fighting the boss here. Oh, overfeeding. Damn, that's that's lowered speed. It does give us 5% max HP, but it lowers our speed. Really, spider? You didn't get hit by that and you reposted me? Horror before the boss as well. That's you dead and out of the way with at least. Good, good. Spider's going to be problematic, I think. Spider could really do a number on us if we're not careful. This guy, he's a little iffy, but the bleed can be e easily removed. Although, I'm actually, I'm not going to remove it because I don't know how bad the, um, the boss is. I really don't know much about the boss. I remember, like I said, vaguely about what the boss is. I don't remember how it works. I'm just expecting it to have a lot of procs. It's made of stone. That's pretty much as far as my knowledge currently goes. Who are you going to go for? Is that more? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh, that with a repose. I didn't even think about that. Bloody hell. Good dodge. I just want to test something before we end the fight here. If I heal myself, do I get prot for that? I do get prot for that. Okay, great to know. I thought I would, but I, I needed to make sure. Dude, I should not have let you live another round there. Goddamn nine over four. How dare you? A lot of stress to receive right before the boss fight. Precipitates a dizzying fall. I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, no, not happy with going into the fight with this much horror on us. But what else can you do? Everyone's at full HP, barring a tiny bit of damage there. Are we ready? Are you ready, kids? I think so. I think so. Let's pop in. Okay, so it is the boss I was thinking of. These little stone demon things. Hugh's doing nothing for us here. Oh, really? 11? Literally the lowest we can possibly roll. Go with this because it's going to minus prop and mark. This has armor piercing while marked, so that's good. The rake is coming in. No debuffs or anything so far. Jaws of Stone. Resisted Stun, that's nice. Jaws of Stone coming on you as well. Good dodge. Okay. What? How did that do 11? 
Excuse me. Okay, I'm, I know you have some prot on you, but how did that do 11 damage? Oh my god. Just the lowest rolls possible right now. Okay, this guy's getting buffed. Oh, dude. I've just realized something. This guy has... This guy's getting cracked. Okay, that's good. That's fa a fair bit of damage. This guy, every time we hit this dude, this dude gets stronger. Oh, God. Oh, no, you stunned a healer and I'm very... Oh, this is... This might go a lot worse than I expected. <laughs> okay, you've got something on you now. What the hell's that? It doesn't say. How are you doing such low damage? We're going to have to do some healing here. Rake's not too bad. Dodge is very nice. Dude, why? <laughs> why do you have to go for her in that? She can't even heal herself either. That's the worst part about this. Injury. Palpable fear. Okay, that's one of them dead at least. That buffs you. You're up to 84% damage. Okay. Um... Steal some restoration. What the hell? That's still like no restoration whatsoever. Did I do that wrong? Again, mark that guy to reduce his prot. Ah, resisted the prot reduction. We're going to need some big hits here to get through this without someone dying. Because a Gorgon Zola woman. <laughs> Gorgon. Oh, God's sake. Luckily, she has... Um, she has some restoration on her. But Rose is basically going to be a permanent healer now. Babysitting. And now the true test. Hold fast. Oh, you didn't have to stun her, did you? Did you have to stun her? Why do you keep getting turns? How many turns do you have? Oh, that's a huge heal there. That's a huge heal. Oh, you need to... Dude, buddy, come on now. Nice dodge. Steel restoration. Yeah, you've got some restoration. Give me that. <laughs> she will not leave her alone now. This is it for the rest of combat. This is it. Okay, we're going to get a st uh, stress check here. Probably going to get another one within this fight as well. Ah, selfish. Unfortunate. Shouldn't be too bad for us. At any cost. <laughs> Literally will not leave her alone. It's so funny. Oh, Awali has, I'll be honest, Awali has absolutely let the side down in this fight. I was expecting some really big things, and he has just absolutely whiffed in his, lo like, the lowest damage rolls he could have. This fight would be over twice over by now. Kind of, kind of unfortunate. Sedated. Luckily, we're about done with this now. So we get another stress check here. Hey, that's what I like to see, baby. Anger is power. Unleash it. <clears throat> <laughs> just will not, will not give it a rest. There you go. We take it out. Oh my god, that was tricky. Okay, so let's remove some stuff. Uh, boom, boom. Boom. So we got, let's have a look, see what we got here. So we got this, which is 20% dodge, 20% dodge the Sunward Isles. That's, that's pretty decent. Not amazing, pretty decent. And we also got this for that Lamia. Um, ooh, minus horror duration is pretty good. And then friendly skill buff self plus crit. Hmm. And then we've got to do this, right? Neat. <laughs> okay, well, that was, that was definitely something. That was definitely something. These guys had a bit of a tricky time there. Oh, but we, we got out of it. We got the trophy and stuff. Another successful trip to the Isles. Koshkin and Gorzon up to level 5. That's another healer up to level 5, man. <laughs>
We need healers. Badly. The plume Some would seal the plus pistol. 50. Yeah, let's see who we've got folly. coming in. And a curse upon us all. Yet again, no new healers. We really need new healers at this point. We've got an occultist, but at level 2 we can't take an occultist on. Trinket-wise, what we're looking at here, nothing particularly good. Um, okay, so let, let's quickly unequip our trinkets and stuff, rearrange, and then... No, you don't need treating. You, these three just need uh, some stress relief, don't they? Do any of you have any special requirements? No. Boom. 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 Good stuff. All put in your places. Right, okay. I, I I got some blueprints here, so I want to see what I do with these. I've got 75 of these seal things now. I'm wondering... I, mean, I think it is for these, but I'm wondering what sort of stuff I can get with that currency. Well, so for starters, I have no idea where. The ones that cost this. Are they all the way at the end, maybe? No. Where the hell are they? Did I miss them at the very start, maybe? Oh, I did, I did. Okay. There's one at the very start. That's it. Oh, no, there's two here. Okay, so we've got this one here, which is... Um, Idle stress relief in town is increased by five. That's pretty good. Gain one to two red seals per week. Red seals are estate items exclusively received from this district. Our estate items... Right, one second. Okay, so at the minute I have no way of knowing what a red seal will do. So it's not super useful there. And we also have the Honourable Shrine, which is minor and major Ernoris remove the versus yokai condition from the buffs, making them usable in other regions. That's pretty interesting. There's some good stuff there. Um, obviously at the minute we're really light on all of this stuff, but there is obviously some more buildings we want to build soon. But I think that's where we're going to leave it for today's episode. We're going to go through another diary or two. I think there's quite a few that we have this episode. I might leave some of them for the next episode just because I don't know if we can get through them all in one sitting. But we'll try and give it a go. Um, one second. I'll pull it up now. Right. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Okay. Diary entries. Here we go. So we... Actually, we only have two more. Let's, let's, just, let's just go with this. We only have two more. So we have one from Renault the Crusader, um, and this is from Rockerin. It's been some time, my old friend, my journal from the days of my seclusion due to my affliction. But believe it or not, I've been enjoying the company of friends, and not even those of the chapel. The barbarian woman Hestia has a very abrasive sense of humour, but a good person, even though she never would say so. Though I will admit, Brother Uriel worries me. The father seems concerned after his time locked away in the chapel, as if something broke in the man. I pray for my brother. That's not all. Chaos, though recently, should have uh, happened sooner. Such things should never be. Slave came to me with a request. He handed me a note with some names of fellow travellers here to do some sleuthing for him. I raised protest at first, but he made the point that he was worried for Lady uh, Basilla. As am I. Such a brutal display. I asked him uh, why me. And he simply said, you're a kind soul. People trust you. I've seen men become monsters. And I see her going the, uh, that way. I want to help, but I can't do it alone. Want to try and save a soul? I've faced many horrors here. But uh, to save a soul from darkness, it's what um, adherent to the light should strive for. Very nice. And then also we have a next one, a desperate plan. Chaos sits with Pamela outside her home on the porch, surveying the gloom of the township. She looks at the big guy and sighs audibly. Chaos turns to her as uh, she simply speaks. All right, big boy, what's mulling around up there? He sighs, just trying to help someone. Is that what you were writing last night? She inquires. Yeah, I need some others to help me with some research and talking to people. Nick seems nice and the old man and the good boy seem to have um, seen my concerns. I'll talk to Dismas tomorrow. She looked confused. What the blazing hell are you researching, dear? A look of concern on her face. Something's wrong. If I wanted, um, Mantarius to free me like that, I would have done it myself. She set me free, but I know what's letting, thing, uh, letting things get to you looks like. 
I can't leave it alone. I can't leave her alone. She wraps her arms around his arm. Just be careful, okay? I still need you to reach the top shelf, she says with a wry smile as she nuzzles into his arm, hiding the concern in her face, but trusting him to do what he has to do. Very intriguing. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. This was a very, very good episode and a really cool boss. Really, really cool boss. I went into it not knowing much, but I think we came out on top. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.